It floats back to you. Well, we're not going to be talking about that. I'll tell you that now. And just stop playing that. Oh, roll intro. Welcome to another episode of It Could Have Been a Classic. Hello and welcome to another episode where we delve through the mysteries of film and television and that the absolute shite that was made. And somewhere we dig into it and think, has it got any potential? And could it have had the potential of being a classic? Well, we've come across one this week, Time Express. Got cancelled after four episodes. It was made in 1979. Now, I remember this on the BBC uh, I used to go to my granny sometimes on a Saturday night and watch it with her, but then it vanished. Time Express is basically it's an anthology series following stuff like uh, Fantasy Island and, God dare I say it, Love Boat. Yes, Love Boat. Well, they were made in 1978, so obviously what happened was they ended up uh, trying something else, which the concepts I found quite fascinating. Basically, you get two people that have something's happened in their lives. And what happens is, is that they get a mysterious train ticket telling them to turn up at a station. So they turn up at this station. So it's a bit like Harry Potter and Hogwarts, you know. You know when he goes to like platform nine and a quarter or nine and a half or whatever. Well, they turn up as this like ticket dude there. And uh, what happens is, it's like something in their past has happened. And then it's like they go back, they get a chance to undo the mistakes of, you know, what they did to undo it and put the timeline right. I suppose in a way, it's like quantum leap. Well, it's not like quantum leap, well, but it's like quantum leaping on a train. Now, I, I'm not going to pan this because Vincent Price and, and, his, one, uh, and his wife, Carol Brown, Woodfrey Palfro, and he's like the train driver. Then we have a conductor, and there's a waiter on board. It's like it's like everybody goes into their apartments, and and I don't know, like loads of smoke comes up, and then suddenly they're back at that moment in the past. Am I gonna die? Two people with an urgent need to return to the past. Once we get underway, there is no turning back. Sister, you just have to believe me. I can't explain the time change or how I got here. I don't even understand it myself. Get in, garbage man. So it was co-produced by, by Ben, I think it Ben Roberts and Ivan Goff, and Ivan Goff did the pilot episode for Charlie's Angel. So there is some sort of like, right, sort of like credits here in the background. And you have a, well, quite a big old star cast. I mean, 
Vincent Price's Mrs. Woodfrey Palfro. And there's, they get numerous actors like James McArthur. Book him, Dano. Like, you know, James McArthur of uh, Y50 fame. I think he'd left the series and started moving around the networks, you know, and TV programs and that with his career. And he ended up on this. Now, there is some dark overtones to this series. And um, like Fantasy Island, uh, it's like there was an episode where Mr. Rock fought the devil. Uh, Roddy McDowell played the devil. And it's, I'm not saying this is in this, but these people, they go back and obviously undo the things that fucked up their lives or their mistakes. And they get another chance. Now, now there is little scenes with the engineer who goes on about this train crash a hundred years ago. And he don't like the, the time train they're on. He wants, he says, we have the power to go back and stop that train crash. And the conductor says, you know, we're not allowed to do that. And uh, Vincent Price and, and, and his missus, they're always, they, they're, they're always drinking champagne and having a waltz in the like luxury car. And they've got a file on all the uh, people that come on the train. You know, they give them this other chance. But there's mention of the uh, the manager of the line. So is that God or is it some entity or not? Are these people dead? Are they? Is it their mission just to go through time and eternity, undoing, getting people to undo stuff? And it comes up in all four episodes, especially with the train driver. He keeps going, we have the power to stop this train accident. It's like, are they, are they cursed to do this for eternity? And I found that quite fascinating about this series. You know, that are they angels, are they ghosts, or are, are they something else? But there's the manager of the line, the person that runs this, and he's referred to. So obviously it's some high up entity. It, it's where these people put things right. And I found this quite fascinating. Now, of course, you get the melodrama stories. Uh, there's one of a guy who's a, a failed rodeo star. He, he lived in a caravan, an RV, and drove around the country. And he, he was getting pissed all the time. And he had a daughter, and he lost his daughter. And he, he gets a ticket because he's a good person. And he goes back in time, and he undoes that. Which, eventually, I found with the four episodes, I did quite enjoy them. You know, but there is something in this where there's like Fantasy Island it, it, that ran for many seasons. Now, now I know I brought up Love Boat at the beginning, but it's the same concepts that people turn up in a place and something strange happens to enable them, you know, to get an opportunity to sort of change your life and make, you know, because obviously somewhere in the universe there's this going on. Do you know what I mean? So, Time Express. Now, now, I look at this, and if you think about it, really, this is sort of like, I know you've got the X-Files and all that. I'm not going to compare that to this. But Time, Time Express, it, it really did have some potential, I thought, especially the casting in this. Now, you got a lot of cheesy actors. And you remember back in the 70s, we had the, the whole cheesy posing and the name comes up we don't get that as much now but we got a lot of this back then that's why i love the old retro television now does time express get through to being a classic now this is the difficult one it ran for four episodes and like i said with the engineer there's there's something in here you know there's that bit of potential in this now, I, I've watched one or two episodes of Fantasy Island to, to go across this. And I, it's like, well, how would you say? To see if there is any sort of comparison. And, and there's plenty there. But Time Train is one of them guilty pleasures. There's four episodes. It's worth remembering. You know, I've, I like the concepts and I think the intro, the music is awesome. I like when the intro starts with the buttons. You know, I, I it really grabs my attention. But this series, it got scrapped, it got panned and it went, you know, it went there. <laughs>
So you're going to ask, is this series a classic? Uh, no. All right, you've got Vincent Price in it, one of the greatest horror actors of the time, a legend. Now, I've got to be careful how I go about this. Now, Time Express, even though it's four episodes, has a lot of potential, but also it's not going to go down the toilet. Now, the TV networks shoved it down the toilet, but... Aaron could have been a classic. I think we're going to put this in a bit of a neutral position because it, even like four episodes, you can see the potential of absolutely nothing in something of why this got cancelled. Now, could this be brought back today? I, I think it'd be very difficult if they did. They brought back Fantasy Island, didn't they? And it never worked. You know, we, we, uh, uh, Malcolm McDowell, I, I didn't really catch it. I'd, I've seen one episode on YouTube and I switched it off. I think some things definitely deserve to stay in the path. And I know that we've got the could have been the classic sort of room where stuff gets through. And then we have the toilet of eternity where it goes down. But I think we should have the shelf the television shelf. I think we should add this. And I'm going to put Time Express in between going down the toilet and in the middle of could have been a classic into the room. So I'm going to time, time Express is the first one to go on the television shelf. Uh, maybe I'll come back to this and, and, and see if there is any more. And it's, I admit Vincent Price is one of the reasons why I've not let this down the toilet but there's things in this the introduction uh the music i love the music to this and, and like look at the intro at the back i love all that and 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 the tra the crazy train driving through limbo you just can't beat it you know and so you're on the tv shelf you know that's where you're going this week so that's uh, you know i've covered time express very insignificant. Now, if you want to tune into this, it is on YouTube, all four episodes. Give it a go, guys. It's almost simple fun, but I enjoyed it for what it is. And it's also, it's one of them timeless, like, gems, isn't it? You know? They, they try doing something. And don't forget, behind every cancelled TV series, there is a story. This cost, this will cost several million dollars to make at the time. Each episode, production, the writers, you know. I mean, I'm, don't get me started on Manimal with a parrot in the cage undercover. Let's, you know, that's when you just cross over the line, <laughs> you know. But Time Express definitely has something there, you know. But it's not good enough to go through and it's not bad enough to go down the toilet. So please give this video a like, please give it a share, and uh, please subscribe and let me know your thoughts on Time Express. If you think it's shit, you think it's shit. Uh, if you think it's excellent, so. But this is only my opinion. Uh, love to hear what you say in the comments. So I will see you on the next video, guys. You have an awesome weekend. I'm, I'm very excited. I'm going to a science fiction event on Sunday. I'm really excited about it. So, guys, I will see you uh, on the next episode of It Could Have Been a Classic. The play.